Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to this channel. I wanted to talk to you about the seven steps that I have put together about how to pay off debt or meet a financial goal. Let's get started. One of these fabulous tips is from you guys. Number one, first thing, and I didn't even think about it, is to start keeping track of all your spending and start writing things down, putting it on a spreadsheet, however you want to track it, so you know where you're spending your money and you know where your money is going. That's number one. I think that's a really great tip. Number two, this is my personal feeling, and you have to do what you feel comfortable with. My personal opinion is to at least work on saving one month of bills or expenses in a savings account. So if something comes up, you got a little bit of wiggle room. That's number two. Number three, create a budget for you that works. What I would do just to start it off is write it out on a piece of paper. Then you can move over to one of these uh, software programs or Excel sheet, whatever you want to do. There's a lot of templates out there. We all have different needs and everyone has a different taste of what works for them. But what I would do is, on a, just to make it simple, I would take a piece of paper and write have to pay on one side. Then in the middle, put negotiable. So have to pay would be your rent. You've got to pay your rent, okay? That would be an example. Or you have a car payment. You've got to pay that car payment. So that would be another example. Number Then make the middle row negotiable. So that means cell phone. You're going to say, well, I need a cell phone. Yes, but some people have a cell phone bill that's really high. Could they switch over to another one, or they, would they like to stay with the one they have? Or car insurance. I've known people that have switched to another car insurance to save a little money. So first row, things you've got to pay and you don't have a choice. Second row, negotiable. You may have to pay them, but you could look for a little less expensive service. Number three, that third one is anything extra. Say you're taking an exercise class or you um, go each month to get a monthly massage because you have some back problems. There may be some things you can tweak in there, some extra things that you're willing to cut back on or some extra things that you are that you say, you know what, I need that massage each month. It is good for my, med my medical needs and it helps me function and do my job better and it's something I need. So every person will have to work with that and create a budget that works for them. And like I always say, you can change the budget. That budget is not something that has to stay there. It's, it's fluid. You can move it around. Okay, so that's number three. Number four, decide what you want to pay towards debt each month and see how much you have left over. And that's really important. So if you want to be have a more generous budget where you're not putting as much towards debt or you want to go scorched earth or something in between you have to decide what is best for you so decide what you want to pay towards debt and also create a timeline of when you want to pay the debt off that's what I did that's what I did when I paid off our car I think when I started this channel we had around nine thousand dollars worth of debt I created a timeline of when I wanted to pay that off so it's important to know how much you think you can put towards that debt each month. That's number four. Number five, consider a part-time job along the way. I know I told the story a long time ago when I graduated college and I moved to Dallas. I got all excited about having all these little charge cards and I worked at a private school. I didn't make a lot of money. Well, I was buying all these cute clothes. Well, I was charging tons of stuff. My regular job would not have allowed me to live on a budget where I could have paid that off. So basically I had somebody that was a financial analyst sit down with me for free and say, you know what, you're paying a lot of interest towards this stuff. I got a part-time job for one year and everything I made at that part-time job paid that debt off and I was completely debt free in one year and I'm grateful that I did that and it's interesting because the place I was working at uh, they ended up closing after one year so because they were doing road construction nearby but you can take a temporary part-time job it doesn't mean you have to keep it forever to help you get to your goals quicker number six and I'm going to do a video on this again because it's been requested sinking funds for larger expenses will really help you so for example if you know something's going to come up uh, let's say you have four children and you know that before school starts that you're going to have clothes and dental and medical for these kids and you're like, gosh, I'm never prepared for that and I'm having to charge. 
start planning now whether it's how much you want to put a month. Let's say you want to put $75 a month towards that and you start a sinking fund and you title it kids getting ready for kids school or whatever you want to back to school and you start that sinking fund then when August comes or the end of July comes you're ready and you're not having to go into debt for that or car insurance is another thing people start sinking funds for or say your car is getting older things like that and a lot amount to put towards that I feel like sinking funds really help people to not go back into debt that's number six last but not least and this is negotiable obviously all these things are is I do recommend if you are able to to put a little bit in savings each month just in case so that that way if Murphy happens you're a little bit better prepared if, and if you do all this stuff hopefully it will keep you from going back into debt also one last thing I want to mention is sometimes we do have to step back and not pay towards debt because things happen and that's okay to do so I want to know what you guys think of this plan I feel like this plan has helped our family get completely out of debt and it's worked well like I've told before in another video the only thing I would do different is probably saved a little bit more but I'd like to hear tips from you guys because I learned so much from you anyway guys I know this is a little longer video I want to say thank you for listening and this is Money Mom signing off love you bye